Hello there guys, it's Don't Chew and Chewy here, and today we're back with my micro tutorial. It's been a while guys, and um, I'm very, very sorry for that. But, exam's now completely done, I've finished school, so hopefully we can get back onto regular uploads, and maybe even weekly uploads again. Who knows, but today I've got a really, really nice windmill for you guys, which me and the BXB crew did for a build that we recently did. We haven't done the cinematic on it yet, but here it is. Uh, really, really happy with the way this turned out. Um, wasn't sure when I was building it. Very sceptical with the way it kind of like gets thinner and thinner as you get to the top and then when the roof comes out. But I kind of like it, uh, as always let me know what you guys think. But now, we'll get into the build. So, here's the blocks we're going to be using. We're going to be using a heck of a lot of logs as for the frame. We're going to be using full blocks. I'm going to be using slabs and just like doing that for full blocks so, to make it a bit easier. We're going to be using stone brick stairs, we're going to be using cobblestone slabs, stone stairs, and stone blocks just for the bottom floor. These here are for the roof, so we're going to be using upward floor blocks, upward stairs, and upward slabs again. We're going to be using cobblestone walls, some fences, some quartz blocks for the kind of the tips. I really like this. This is what someone on the team did, kind of like makes the blades look a bit sharper. Pretty cool. And we're also going to be using these for the flag on top. I'm just going to take our wool for the second floor windows. So let's get into the build. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to place logs like this. We're going to leave a free space gap. And again, free logs and free space gap. And just like this. Make sure you've got a free space gap. And then we're going to go up four on all sides. One, two, three, four. like this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in a block like this, thinning it out, and we're going to come up four again. So three, four, three, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then we're going to come in a block again for one more time. We're going to get really, really thin at the top, just like this. And once again, we're going to go up four blocks high, just like this. This is kind of your frame for your build. It, it doesn't look like much now, of course, but as we uh, add some more blocks to it, it'll start looking nicer. And what we're going to do is we're going to add logs down here on the bottom as well, and also on the top here. Just like this. I'm going to do this on each floor as well. So, fly up here. And we're going to have logs like this. I'm pretty sure we're going to have logs like this. Let me just quickly check that. Yep, we're going to have logs like this. And as you can see on the build, we're going to have kind of roofs coming across these to cover up bits of the logs. Just to give it a bit more a bit more detail. A bit more roofiness. Everybody loves roofs. you got to love roofs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually plan out these roofs. And we're going to go like this. Just like this. You're going to do this on each side as well. All sides. Going to use the oak wood, as always, with any of my builds. You can just use whatever block you want. You can use spruce wood, you can use jungle wood. Just just go with whatever you feel like. Go with whatever your style, or what will fit your style, should I say. For the trim, we're going to use a bit of cobblestone. Like this. And we're going to go one block in. I really like this. We did this in a, a previous build, and I really like the way it kind of it kind of just gives some depth. You know what I mean? I I really like it. Again, you can you can just keep it on the same level. You don't you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. My craft's all about variation. Final side here. Oh, we got this side as well. Just like this. Final block. Like this. So we kind of started kind of doing the bits of roofs on the bottom floor, as you can see here. Um, but we need some kind of supports. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this on the entrance. So you can choose whichever side you want. Where you wait, where, where, blah, blah, blah. let me get my tongue untied. Where you want your entrance, you're just going to break a block here. And this side will be your door. Uh, and all of the sides we're going to do some detail in and put some windows and flower pots and, you know, just make it look, make it look all pretty, like, 
nice and pretty. Okay, so now we are gonna actually have to go and grab. Come on, there we go. Go and grab our cobblestone walls, and we're gonna place our cobblestone walls like this in the middle block here as well, like this. Then we're gonna place a full block here, like that, and then we're gonna place a slab here. Like this, just to cover up the logs, so we don't have we don't have too many logs, because the logs by themselves can look a bit, a bit brown. No, nobody likes looking brown. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab these for our kind of window decoration. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. Oh wait, no, we're not. We're gonna add the windows first, and with this, you just do whatever you want. You don't have to do. As always, the exact same that I'm doing. This is all just about randomization and thingy. So on this side, I'm gonna have, you know, this like this, and another stone block here. And this is where our window's gonna be. But you know, on another side, you could just do all cobble. So you can just do like a, a whole cobble window like this, and then just put like that, and have a cobblestone stair. Uh, on one side, you can just have mainly stone, and like this. You can even add like some stairs in to kind of like, there's a brick missing. It can look quite nice as well, just like this. This is where our uh, windows are going to be. For the windows themselves, what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. Two stairs. Then a slab. We're going to leave a block. Then a slab like this. Upside down stair up here. And then two fences, just like that. And then here you can um, just place kind of like this, and you can have like a flower pot. But we'll get to the minor details at the end. And you can again, you can mix this up. You can you know kind of maybe do a bit of this instead. Start off like that again. You can maybe have a window like this. Two stairs and that. You know you can switch it up a bit and have a flower pot there. And we'll just do the same on this side as well. Just. Just like this, and the fences, and these are kind of these are kind of like holding up this kind of little roof here. Kind of looks cool. And you know what? What we'll do here is we'll actually add a stone one. No, we won't. We'll just add this. We'll be, we'll be boring. We'll be the same on this side. And that's pretty much our bottom floor completely done. Like over here, as you can see, the windmill kind of also comes down, so you also kind of get a little bit of the windmill on the bottom floor. So looks nice for the entrance way. All we're going to do is we're going to go like this, and then again, you know, just randomize up the stone a bit. Use different kind of stone blocks like this, and then you can just pretty much do the exact same thing. And you can just kind of go like this, and it looks quite nice actually. I quite like that. And then, of course, add these here because I forgot earlier because I'm very, very clever. On the top floor, up, on the upper floor, should I say? What we're going to do is we're going to actually use wool. So this bottom floor, this is kind of like the working area. This is, um, you know, this is open to the weather. It's open to the crop fields and all dirt's flying at it. So you don't really want to use quite ex more expensive materials. And as you go up the floors, we just add the logs in here. As you go up the floors, you know, you you kind of want it to be a bit more homely, look a bit more nicer because it, it's not going to be as affected by. You know, as I said, all the dirt flying off the crop fields and and things like that. So they, they can kind of splash out a bit on the top floors. Which, you know, I guess that's kind of nice. Nice for them. Maybe maybe not nice for everybody, though. But sometimes in Minecraft, things don't have to be practical. They can just look nice. And we're actually going to go one block in on this bit. So just like this. We're going to go one block in. And that's just going to give us... Give us a bit of depth, and uh, it's not going to be super super boring. Because if we if we put it on the, the upper floor here, if we put it right here, we won't have much detail in opportunity, and um, we just kind of have a flat window. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to do this really simple detailing, and then as you can see over here, I put like a flower pot, and I actually really really like doing this on my builds, so we'll do it here as well. Again, you don't have to do this on all sides because 
otherwise it looks, starts to look very very samey and here just like this kind of it's like a hanging out over the window quite quite nice so quickly I'm going to take a cut in a second but what we're going to do here is we're going to just do the same as we did on the bottom floor like this all the way around and it's just the exact same um, kind of roof that we did on the first one but again we're going to take our slabs and we're going to come in a block like this and just to give it some more detail and I'm going to make a real hash of it because that's what, that's what I'm good at like so and two around the bottom here one up here just like this again we're just doing this to add detail and add a bit more depth to the roof so it's not just very very flat just like this and in these gaps here what we're actually going to do is we're going to quickly jump through the top of our roof here and we're going to just add logs facing this way to give it a bit of colour and cover up that gap God, I'm going to fly through that hole again just like this and here is where our actual windmill comes out so the windmill's actually going to come out here but we need to plan our roof first so what we're going to do is we're going to go like this uh, no we are not the roof itself is actually rather large so we're going to come out diagonally one block like this we're going to do this on all sides just like this and then we're going to go up two I'm going to go two again. Uh, this, this is quite like the roof I did on both my like medieval watchtower. I really like these roofs. But I also did it on um, the clock tower, which is like, pretty much one of my most famous videos. I won't call it famous, but it's one of my most popular videos, should I say. It's very, very quite popular on my channel. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So I'm going to take a really quick cut. Again, in these spots here, you just want to place a log like this. Because I forgot. Just add a bit of colour so we, we have a bit of kind of more, more of a light, light colour. You know, which is kind of nice. So yeah, I'm going to take a really quick cut here. I'm going to finish up these. So I'm just going to do this on pretty much all sides. And I'll be back with you guys in just a tick. And we're back guys, so what I've just done is I, as I said, copied this kind of deal to all sides on the second floor. I've also added just some flowers, you know, on the bottom floor and on these blocks here. That's what you want to do. You can have like bush as well. I love the bush. I don't know. I don't know why I love the bush so much. But as you can see, the roof has gone and that's because I actually did it wrong. We're actually going to go like this. We're going to come down a block and it's going to be even. Um, or on level should I say with um, the frame for your third floor and the roof still is just exactly the same so it's just like this so slightly little mishap there but it's okay so again just one and two and then two no difference in the sides at all just like that on here we're going to then place these cobblestone walls on each cobblestone stairs right next to both of them like this and then fences on these blocks here and also something that I forgot is down here you just want to stick a fence let me stick a fence there well let me stick a fence there for some reason but oh well I before I could stick a fence there, apparently I cannot, and apparently I'm an idiot because it's right here. Right here, just, you know, again, just like the first floor, just a bit of support for the for the roof, you know, just like we did here. Nice little bit of support for the roof, and speaking of the roof, let's uh, jump into that. So we're just going to place two blocks here, or two slabs here, or a full block on each one of these corners. To here like this 
comes my ladder, like this. And then we're going to place stairs on these three, on the top double block, double slabs. Just like this. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to come out. So we're going to place slab here. I think that'll work. And we're going to go like that. God, we can even have like a fence there. Maybe. Oh, that kind of looks quite nice. I kind of like that. So yeah, we're going to just place double blocks here. Stair. Just like this. And then stairs. Again. Just like this. And we actually curved them. This is something that the BXB guys have started doing as well. We started to um, curve our stairs for our roofs. Honestly, not sure why. We just started doing it and I know it's just kind of, you know, it's just habit. We always just curve the stairs now. But it kind of kind of looks quite nice in my opinion. But we can't really curve these because um, this is a full block. And yeah, we're going to go with this. We're going to add defences, I think, on each side. And just like that. We're going to add slabs here to kind of give it a bit more... Make it look a bit more joined. And we're going to do upside down stairs for the kind of fancy peak that you that you see in all medieval houses. So we're going to go like this. And then into a slab, just like that. So again, we're going to go outwards inwards so you got the face of like that and you got a slab there and a slab on top so boom boom stick that there for later and outwards and like that now we're gonna add or should i say join up the roof by adding four blocks around here like this and then curve these stairs and then into this and this one we're going to put a half slab kind of give it the more gradual um, drop and right here let me get this we're going to place this we're going to place one of these two fences and something like this and this is where our flag's going to go in the end right up there Looking pretty cool at the minute. These spots here, all you're going to do is you're going to add a log on the bottom of each. Just like this. This here, here we're going to just add a window later on. And we're going to place slabs just on here. For, again, some more windows that we're going to be adding in the future. So just like this, the build's coming together quite quickly now. We're quickly wrapping this build up. On the side where you want your windmill to come out, see as you can see, we're going to actually come from the log here. So we're gonna, actually going to get rid of this. This is going to kind of has to be a support beam. We're going to come out five blocks, just like this. And then the pattern that we're going to use is two, two, and then one, and two, two, and one. And we're just going to do this on all four sides. So two out, up one, and then two again, and then one. Just like this. We're going to take our wool, our quartz, our slabs and our fences, as you can see here. What we're going to do is we're going to go one behind like this, and we're going to just place the blocks as such. And I've done it on the wrong side because I'm inherently clever. So we're going to go like this. And then on this last one here, we're going to go two up, just like that. And right here, we're going to go two, two, and two. And you, what you got to do is you got to make sure that if the windmill actually span, and you can do that with Ugo Craft, which I've never used, I should really use that mod. So as the windmill spins, you know, the actual blade, or the white wool in this case behind it, would actually be in that position. So if you span 90 degrees, you know, the white wool would still be, still be there. So we, so we got to make sure. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to just add some slabs, just like this. And we're also going to have fences. I think we have fences here on the inside. 
So on the inside, like on the white wool, actually have the fences like this. And then on the outside, we just add the slabs. So even here, we add slabs, and slab, slab, and slab. And finally, we're gonna add these awesome, I, I totally, I love whoever did this. I'm pretty sure it was a uh, CM Brockman who did it. However much I'd love to take credit for doing that. He came up with it. I, I, I love it. I love using the, it's just the stairs just to, just to give it, you know, that more, the, the more sharp feeling like you see in real life. You see like a, a propeller in real life and you just think, oh crap, I, I, I would not want to be hit by that. And you know, I would want to be hit by this. This is pretty, pretty scary. Yes, I really like that's a big, big shout out to CM Brockman because, oh days, I, I love this. I love what he did with this. Okay, I think we're just going to place that one like that. And then we're going to place this one just like this. And the stairs like that. And finally, we're going to come out a block and we're going to place a boot on. Just like so. We've actually, we've actually we've added slabs to these ones, like that, and then fences, just like that. Nothing like over detailing. And finally, for the windows on the top floor, you can just kind of different and differentiate them. So we just get some panes, little panes, pane. So we're gonna use the white stain clay because I love it, and it's, and it's awesome. So you can just kind of you know differentiate it. You know, here you can have that. Here you could have this, one you could have something like that. That's how, you, how, I, how I like to do the windows on the top floor. And on this floor here, I just like to actually just put like an entire window pane, just like this. I don't know. I kind of started to really like just doing this on kind of the thinner shapes. Yeah, you can do that or you can just do the exact same as we did up here. But this is this is pretty much the tutorial, um, just sitting back. And, oh, wait, nearly forgot. The most important part, the flag. I'm just going to do the same flag I do on pretty much all my builds, which is um, a. I have a tutorial actually. Is the little flag. I, I really like this flag. I just came up with it and now I just. I just always use it. So you come one out and you go one down. Like this. So you kind of make this shape. Then you go back a block. Like this. And down. And then we go this. I'm just trying to mix up the colours of it as much as I can. Like steps like this. And then the step after is we go down and green, just like that. And then we have finally this block here. It rounds the flag out really, really nicely. I, I really like that flag. So simple, but yeah. So so effective and I think I think this is it. I think this is the tutorial. You know, obviously, you gotta grab your windows. I'm gonna grab one from this place over here. Use some light stained ones as well. This is another pretty cool window. With the windows, you know, just mix it up again. You know, sometimes you use light stained grey, light stained grey, light stained grey windows. Sometimes just use the white stained clay windows. And you wanna go add windows on the bottom floor as well. So yeah, see here we need to actually place this block, unfortunately. Because I, I quite like that, it looks quite nice. And obviously you want to add your door for the front of the house. So no one can just walk in and just, you know, nick all your stuff. Let's put those that way, so it looks a bit nicer. Just like that, and I think that's it, I think that's the tutorial. I think we've got all the windows, no one's going to break in, no one's going to steal our stuff. Again, you know, just differentiate. Get a little difference. It's my new obsession, this difference. But yeah, guys, that's the windmill tutorial. Um, I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, as always, make sure to hit that like button down below. Like we just faced one that we built. Kind of get, get in a shot like that. If you liked the tutorial, then, you know, make sure to hit that like button down below. And, um, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of whenever I do builds, because I just kind of upload videos whenever at the minute but as i said at the beginning hopefully i can get back into more of a groove and that's my pen i just dropped my pen on the floor and um yeah start uploading weekly again and maybe start that new series that i've been talking about 
for actually months. But as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and leave suggestions and your thoughts and how I can improve and what you'd do. And just tell me anything in the comments. Just say hi. You know, that's cool as well. But as always, guys, hope you enjoyed the videos. One last quick thing. You can also add wheat fields around this. This is perfect to just add wheat fields and stuff. Just a little tip. But yeah, I've been Don't Chew and Chewy, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.